In this video, we're going to cover the Link Bank dashboard. Now, I'll shoot other videos showing you how to create a new link from the Link Bank, and I'll shoot another video just covering the statistics. But for right now, I want you to understand what is happening here on this dashboard. Now, if we look here up at the top, this is a button that allows you to create a new link inside the Link Bank. And then this button right here will take you to your statistics for the link bank. Now, if we look down below, you'll see that there are some buttons. Now, each one of these buttons represent a different link type as well as a different status. So if I click on this first button here, what this is, this is going to show me all the links inside my link bank. And if I look over here on the far right corner of the screen, you'll see that we have different statuses according to the type. Next, if I come over here, these are links that are in a pending status, which means whatever you have set as your pending page is what will display when this link is clicked. Next, if we come over here, these are actual links that are in an active status, which means if somebody clicks that link, it's going to show my actual destination link. Now, Easy Links works on an active status. So as you go through all these different modules, you're going to be able to pull in links from the link bank, but the only links that you can pull in have to be an active status. So make sure you remember that. Now, this button here is our completed links. So what that means is this link has ran its course and now it's in a completed status. So when it's in a completed status, what you can do is you can have a completed holding page showing in place of your original destination link. This comes in really handy when your promotion or your offer comes to an end. And now you can have a standard page that says, we're sorry, this offer has been closed. That can all happen automatically. If I come over here, you'll see that we have a button called Evergreen Links. And with this here, this is where you would have links that never close. They're not in a pending status, an active status, or a completed status. They're just in a status that makes it available 24-7. You're never going to change this link. And then finally, I'm going to click this button here called My Links. And these are links that pertain to your specific campaigns or your specific sales funnels. Or you can see what I've done here. I actually create a link bank to common logins that I use all the time. And that way, when I'm on the road, I know what my link is without ever having to look it up. For instance, this link right here is a link to my Infusionsoft. Now, normally I would have to type in something like, rm124 slash infusionsoft.com. That's hard to remember. Well, now what I've done is I set it up to where I can have chadnicely.com forward slash infusion, and then it will forward to that complicated link that I no longer have to remember. I've also got some of my webinar replays in here. Again, this link here is for my own custom links. Don't confuse that with evergreen links or with these pending, active, and completed statuses. Now, if I come back over here to the link bank dashboard, this is very easy to follow. If we come down here, you see that I have the ability to copy to my clipboard. I can export to Excel. I can export to a CSV. I can export to PDF. I can print the table, or if I click this here, then what I can do is I can actually hide columns that are appearing inside this table. So if I click this and if I click this, you'll see that I've just went and opened up those columns. But if I don't want to have these blue columns here, I can just click them and they go away. And so once you close this, next time you open up this table, it will be exactly like you have here in this box. Now, looking over here on the far left side, you'll see that we have this little green check mark. This means that your link is in good working order. There's no server errors and your link has not been blacklisted. Next, we have your link name. Now, if we come over here, these are fast action steps that you can take. You can edit the link. You can delete the link. You can reset your statistics. You can very easily clone the link. You can copy the link. And then this here will take you into your statistics. 
Same thing you have right here inside the button. Also notice that we've got a field here for the vendor as well as the group. And we also have a field here for your master campaign. Now all three of these pieces of data are controlled from your manage groups tab. We'll cover that in another video. And then if you look over here, these items in blue are your actual statistics. So when you open up your link bank stats, your eyes should be drawn directly over here to your statistics. So this here represents your raw clicks. And out of 273 raw clicks, we had 200 unique clicks. Now an action is typically an opt-in, meaning somebody has entered their name and email on your page. And when they get redirected to the next page, a pixel fires off and that tracks as an action. We can also do the same thing with a conversion pixel. So over here, this is where your conversion pixel would fire off and it would track your number of sales. If I come over here, I can go ahead and click a link and I can create what's called a manual campaign. We have another video for the manual campaign. And then over here, I've got some real quick sub links. And what this does, is this is going to give me the link that I'm going to use for my campaign. And then I can take that same exact link and I can share it over there on my blog, on Facebook, on email, and on Twitter. And it's up to you if you want to go this deep, because for the most part, this link right here is the only one you will need. And then if you come over here, you can change the status right there on the fly. Right now it's in an active status, but I can very easily change this to a penny status, a completed status. I can make it evergreen, or I can even mark it to my links. And that's how that works. That's how the link bank dashboard works. Very powerful, but very easy to understand once you get the hang of it.